Don't act like I'm not uh, scrounging for lettuce. Orange, Salanova, chard, radishes, carrots too, green onions. I'm in the cucumber greenhouse counting cucumbers. 10 cucumbers here and maybe as many as 20 more would be big enough by Friday sales. It's been a really sunny week. Got an overcast day today, but it's supposed to, sun's gonna break through. I uh, was out here kind of just eyeballing things because this evening I need to let people know how much I will be able to sell to them on Friday. And I was just taking a look at my lettuce patches here. The one that, that got gobbled by the caterpillars like gobbled, right? And I just thought for sure they were done. So as I'm looking in these lettuces, they're very clean. I'm not seeing caterpillars. I'm not seeing caterpillar poop. So I'm kind of wondering if that's just like this one big, the biggest life cycle. I do see here's a dead moth. Do they cocoon themselves, turn into moths, fly away? I have. I've got to learn the whole thing. But anyway, that's some pretty clean lettuce. Um, some of this green sweet crisp that um, they really hit. Some of it's looking pretty bad still. I mean, it's just like got really hammered. Now, what is this stuff here? What is this? Oh, I don't know what that is. Okay, I'm taking a closer look if I can. So this stuff here, um, these might be eggs. Are these little egg sacks? Alrighty, so I've got one 10 foot section harvested plus one row so I could scoop my tub along here. And that's what we got. I thought that I'd go ahead and get this bed of green but these heads are actually really small and a lot of cruddy leaves. So I ended up just grabbing whatever leaves in the greens that um, looked decent and I got a tub. Moving along, I grabbed this 10 feet of red plus some and I got one more tub. There's more lettuce out there that I could get, but I'm not going to for a couple of reasons. First of all, it's very painstaking. I have to look through and make sure there's no bugs in there. Also, I've only got another hour before I have to let everybody know how much I can sell to them. One bunch of carrots to add to some of those that I've got. I'm gonna make a picture to sell three pound bags of carrots. I picked raspberries tonight and I've just been rinsing them and putting them in little wax bags here in the freezer. I've got five eight ounce sacks. Trying to get some orange for the salad mix. And uh, this is creepy crazy. I should just clip the tops. Um, yeah. So I'm here in the cucumber greenhouse. It's so funny. I noticed yesterday on my online sales that uh, the cucumbers weren't selling and I couldn't figure that out because the cucumbers are always like a big hit. And um, yeah, maybe I'm just gonna clip the little tops like this. And I realized um, with the cucumbers that I hadn't activated you have to click this little box that box that activates the each item for sale. So like ten people had already ordered and I hadn't I had my cucumbers activated. Yeah, so I'm talking early in the spring. I started lettuce, chard, and orange. And I planted them as transplants to the drip hole because it can be hard to start seed because of you know water issues. In the past, I've used snow to, um, you know, to water in the seed. I'll switch that up next year, I think. Switch it back to trying to, um, 
direct seed, chard and orange and transplant lettuce like I've been doing. It's nice to have that stuff early in the greenhouse and then uh, if I time it right, then I can get it so that I can transplant the cucumbers in amongst everything. Just got a little bit of orange here, just enough to add some color to the salad mix. I'm over here in the baby chard and baby spinach beds. So I am just going to clip some of the smaller leaf. Um, normally what I do is just cut it down right at the stem, but these have all grown too big. Um, so I'm gonna grab some little leaf for the salad mix and later I'll come back and grab some bigger leaf for, you know, bunches. And uh, yeah, I'm really liking, I've done this a lot of years, this baby um, chard, and it works really great in the salad mix. It holds up great in the bubbler. It's just super reliable. And um, yeah, fire fresh chard. This will be something I keep doing. I just got to figure out how to seed it with, with a seeder because I've had to seed it by hand, which takes a lot of time. Um, yeah, and I think I only need one bed and I think I need to make this just more color for the salad rather than making it some sort of main ingredient. I don't need to have so many beds of baby greens. Normally I just cut these right at the base and then they grow back and then they have these cut tops. I don't know if you can see that. And so it ruins a lot of leaf, but then if I'm careful, you know, and I'm just clipping them individual baby leaf, it takes a, a long time. So, you know, I, I haven't quite figured out what, how I wanna do that. I think I probably should just carefully cut back the leaf and um, so it grows back properly. I'm gonna grab some of this spinach too. This is lakeside spinach, and this is the first spinach I've grown that isn't inclined to bolt um, as quickly as the stuff I've grown in the past. So I may try this again. Um, I do know that um, if I'm gonna do these baby greens beds, I really need like a nice thick layer of good compost. Um, I did throw some compost on this half of the spinach bed and I don't know if you can see but this half of the spinach bed didn't have anything on it and it's just like so much smaller than this stuff right so yeah um, this is a good variety and I just need to I have no compost right now. Usually I have some to spare and I have nothing. I gotta figure that out. My garden's getting too big. So just a little bag of baby chard and spinach. You can see in this front half of baby chard that um, I cut it right at the base and so it's growing back and it's got some leaves that are gonna be, you know, jagged at the end. I've got my lettuce up. I bubble it for about a minute and then let it sit for about 10 minutes so that any heavy things can filter down. Um, and I just came out here to kind of clean up the lettuce that I harvested. And uh, guess what I see down here? There's a little toad living underneath the lettuce. And so now I'm messing up his habitat. He eats slugs and caterpillars. Um, I think I might move him all the way down to where it's really bad down there. Where did he go? Oh, there he goes. Oh, maybe he'll find his own way. Hey, buddy. <laughs> hey, buddy. Headed toward the potato patch. There he goes. So the salad of lettuce that I had trialed years ago, I decided I, I preferred um, this green sweet crisp compared to this green insized which is a little more delicate 
and doesn't seem to grow as big a heads maybe. And then um, I initially really liked this red Sweet Crisp. This has got such a nice deep red color, but oftentimes it would grow such a small head and it was slower to mature than the green Sweet Crisp. So I ended up going with this red incised which is fluffier um, and has done well for me. And so, you know, I ran out of seed at as I was planting. And so I ended up having to plant my lettuce that I don't prefer, you know, over here. And uh, yeah, this just kind of reiterates that I, I do like the ones I've chosen. Um, and plus, you know, another note to self, when I was transplanting these lettuces, I transplanted them pretty deep. And then they just don't seem to have as much room to spread their little toes out. And then they kind of bunch up, you know, in the center. And so I need to not do that. I need to kind of bring them a little closer to the surface uh, so they can spread their little toes. Anyway, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get some more of this lettuce enough to sell next week i might be able to uh it's just kind of a pain in the butt but we'll see salad max bunches of carrots, 20 pounds of bulk carrots. Hi, I'm here harvesting basil. I got my 10 three ounce bags and my two six ounce bags for the restaurant. I probably could have gotten more out of this bed but I didn't want to be too crazy. And hopefully next week I'll get some out of this bed. What is this doing okay? Next up, harvesting green onions. These are getting a little bit old, some stuff's dying back. Tips are getting kind of cruddy. I'm definitely not going to try to transplant green onions between the lettuces like I tried this year because when I need to cover the lettuce, the hoops are too low and the green onions, their tops get bent over. I've got 20 bunches here, but I may try and double them up just to make them bigger. And leeks. I grab three. I got 10 bunches out of that 20. Spent way too much time cleaning them up. Uh, but I was embarrassed. <gasps> Last week they were so hideous. And my one bunch of leeks. Just bagged up salad mix. I've got eight times three tubs, 24 plus uh, Another eight, which is 32. One of them got eaten. <laughs> uh, that was more than I expected. I think I only have enough room in the fridge right now for some parsley and the baby chard bunches. So I'm gonna start with that. bunches of baby chard and 10 bunches of parsley. I could have probably picked 15 to 20 bunches. We'll have to see if I can sell that much next week. <laughs> Yay, I got my five bunches. I could sell so much more chard than this. 
so I just needed a few more. With the orders that I did end up with, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, two packs of cucumbers, plus uh, a special four pack, and then one more two pack for us. Um, dudes, I could sell so many more cucumbers. I just got back from delivering and I was standing over here by the composting bins and check this out, man. There's these weird mushrooms growing all around here. Oh, look at them. They're so weird looking. I wonder what they are. Uh, so weird. To make space temporarily in the fridge, I got my carrots out here with ice packs in the shade. They'll be here for just a few hours. Okie dokie, folks. I need to just get eight bunches of collard greens. I should have made more available. Okie dokie, so I need 12 kale. Eight bunches of collards, total 12 bunches of kale, and an extra bunch for me. Okay, here I am, about ready to sell. I changed my holy shirt. Remember how last week I said end of August would be my last week selling? I don't think so. This weather is too nice. There is a dragonfly on my shoulder. 